Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to exclude partial periods when using daytime column as relative date filters in your workbooks or visualization. Now in this example, author has exposed a daytime column and they have set the relative time to be of last three months based on today. The default experience for relative time period filters is set relative to today, which means the date that the user is running the workbook or dashboard. Last three months of data based on the current logic will look at the last 90 days of data based on the date that you're currently in. So today is the June 13th and the workbook will essentially return data for the last 90 days based on June 13th as the relative date. And that's why the consumer user ends up seeing partial data for June 2024 and full data for April and May 2024 and some partial data for March 2024. And this is not an optimal experience, especially when the consumer user is trying to perform some kind of trend analysis. And you can see that the trend seems to go up and it suddenly goes down because June is of only partial data. We've added a feature that allows the author or consumer user to change the relative to from today to end of last period. Changing the relative to from today to end of last period will essentially exclude the current partial period the user is in and show the data for the last three months of data. And this provides an optimal experience for the consumer user to perform any kind of trend analysis when using date time column as relative time period filters. Let's go to the edit mode and review the authoring experience. So in this example, on a dashboard filter, report date, which is a date time column is exposed as a filter control. And by default, the time period, the relative time period is set relative to today. And the, as an author, I'm going to change this to end of last period and save the workbook. And let's launch the workbook as a consumer user. And you can see that as a consumer user, I get to see the last three months of full data. And you can also do the same when you do a type as next, which is looking forward into the data. In my data set, I don't have forward looking data. But when you do set the type as next, you can change your little two from today to start of next period, which will essentially exclude the current partial period that the consumer user is in and show the data for the next three full periods. Thank you for watching this video.